we'll delve a little bit more into the senses and add, start adding some yoga philosophy to that. Uh, Christopher Wallace has put this so well that I'm going to paraphrase him because I, I can't really put it any better really. So have a think about if a tree falls in the woods and no one is there, does it make a sound? I'll leave you pondering that. Does that tree make a sound? So what's your conclusion? Is it yes? Is it no? So as he describes, so if the tree falls in the woods, uh, the tree falls, and if you think about it, it creates vibrations. If someone is there, they are picked up by the ear and then that goes to the brain and then it becomes a sound. So before the ear and before the brain, it's just vibrations in the air. So it's not a sound. If someone isn't there, it's not a sound. But if you think about this as well, if we just had the ear, it still wouldn't be a sound. It needs consciousness or our awareness in order to become something. Now, this is going to be maybe quite a big leap, but the teachings are, and that is the most beautiful example to her in order to understand this, the teachings are that uh, everything is Shiva and Shakti. So Shiva is consciousness and Shakti is energy. So if you think about the tree falling in the woods, those vibrations that it causes, they're energy. They only come into form, so sound, when you add consciousness. So that might be quite a sudden eye-opener. Maybe, maybe not, who knows. So yeah, I, that's something to think upon and spend some time with that thought that Literally everything in creation is energy and consciousness.